All right, guys, stop what you're doing right now and help us break the internet. Yes. We all know that the algorithm is always against us, especially <laughs> in this health and healing, holistic, hippy dippy. Right. <laughs> like all the hashtags are blocked. Natural remedies seem like they're being blocked. We need your guys' help. So share this video. If one thing in this video has helped you, please share it with someone you know or everyone you know so we can get this information out there and help those around us that need us. Erin and Dusty here and welcome back. Or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome to Eat, Move, Rest. Yes. So it's been quite some time since Dusty and I have sat down together yep. to have a chat with you guys. And we figured this would be the perfect topic to do so because yep. we have been in this vegan plant-based lifestyle together for a little over eight years now yep. and we're thriving. We have two happy kiddos who are healthy and energetic yep. and so fun loving. So we feel like we are in a good space to share with you guys some of the common pitfalls that people encounter yep. and solutions for how to easily remedy those so you can also make this lifestyle stick. Totally, we hear from people every day here on YouTube and on Instagram that are saying, I wanna be vegan, I've tried to be vegan, I failed. Also, like the most discouraging thing is we have a lot of friends and fellow influencer friends that are coming out and saying that they are no longer vegan. Why are there so many ex-vegans all of a sudden? Nobody is making videos or content about people who are succeeding and who are right. thriving because what honestly gets the clicks are the people who have fallen and failed. Another thing to keep in mind is, like we said, more and more people are coming into this lifestyle every single day in droves. That also means more people are leaving. Right. So with all of that being said, the vegan diet is very sustainable long-term with a little bit of education, a little bit of insight from us. We are certified health and lifestyle coaches. We are also certified as plant-based health coaches. We've gone to dozens of conferences, both online and in person. Yep, and we've met all the top doctors, all our friends with all the top influencers. We know what we're doing. We're living it, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. We're living it, we've been healthy as single people, as married people, as now parents. So like we said, we feel like we're in a place to be giving advice on helping others address these common pitfalls. Right, because we've encountered all of these ourselves, but we stuck it out because anytime we had a concern or a stumbling block, we would turn back to the researchers, the physicians, the research papers, the podcasts. So we're hoping that we can help you guys avoid some of these missteps. The first pitfall, number one, is not supplementing. Right. I can't tell you how many friends, family members, coaching clients I have chatted with who've said, I just don't feel energized. I have low energy. I have brain fog. I just don't feel my best. And I have simply asked them, are you supplementing? Are right. you taking a B12 supplement? That's the first place to start. And oftentimes the answer is no. And they had no idea, whether you're plant-based or not, how important this supplement can be. Totally. So our babysitter, for instance, who now after knowing and meeting us and working with us a little bit has successfully been on a plant-based diet for at least over a month. Before that though, she said while she was eating meat, dairy, all the things, she was still supplementing B12, D3 because her doctor said her levels were low. So this goes beyond just folks on a plant-based or vegan diet that need to be supplementing our water, our soils. These things are void as compared to maybe a hundred years or so ago. We all should really be supplementing. And if we're making recommendations, like we almost are like daily, I would say online, we recommend Compliment. So we've been partnered with Compliment now for probably over a year and we absolutely love them. Whereas before we were taking like B12 sprayers, vitamin D droppers, um, omega capsules, Compliment takes everything and puts it into one and it makes it so stinking easy. We absolutely love it. And even as the name says, it's not a supplement to replace something you're totally lacking from your diet as right. much as it is a complement. And it doesn't contain an overkill, an over excess of all of these different vitamins and minerals that you're easily obtaining right. from a variety of plant foods. Yep. Instead, they're just including the eight essentials that you may want to make sure you're covering your bases on. So Complement Essential contains B12, D3, D6, 
DHA and EPA, iodine, K2, zinc, magnesium, and selenium all in one capsule. So it's an incredible company. They also have all kinds of other supplements like the plant bites that the kiddos love. Kids actually take the liquid complement, right. which is very easy to sneak in a smoothie, but they actually don't mind taking it straight either. Even the co-founders have mentioned that their wives took complement <laughs> while pregnant and breastfeeding. We love these guys. Couldn't recommend them enough. If you guys are digging on Compliment, we have a discount code and everything will be linked below. Pitfall number two is beyond huge right now. It yeah. is eating vegan processed junk food. Totally. So a lot of people are thinking that the vegan diet has become hijacked by companies and corporations trying to profit <laughs> on us. And quite frankly, it's true. It has, yeah. When something becomes popular, brands wise up and make sure to slap the label on all of their products. And right. it lures a lot of people in, especially people who are new to the lifestyle, trying to find an alternative to their favorite Dorito or even hamburger. There's no saying that a Franken food burger is any safer than a red meat patty. Right. So you're better off to make your own bean burgers at home we understand if you're going through a transition phase, but try not to get stuck in that phase and to move beyond the processed packaged plant-based foods right. to making your own at home. Totally. The whole thing here is a whole foods plant-based diet. It's not a vegan diet. You can eat canned peaches, cigarettes, <laughs> and french fries and call yourself a vegan, right? We try to steer clear of the V word and we make sure that to recommend people eat a whole food, plant-based diet. That means that yes, these new mystery meats and a lot of these other processed foods do not fit into our diet. So we say leave them out. That's why a lot of people are not feeling their best or getting the best results on a quote, vegan diet. Right. Steer clear of them. So if you're one of those people online who is questioning right. this ancestral diet that everybody is turning to <laughs> yep. in homesteading and growing and raising their own chickens and slaughtering their own cows, I've heard a lot of these people claiming that the plant-based diet is full of fake foods. Yeah. Unfortunately, there is that side to things, but a whole food plant-based diet is not that. Number three, simply not eating enough. So I know when I first transitioned, I was a little bit slower to start than Aaron was, I was dragging my feet, but when I finally did give up my last animal product, I was starving all of the time. I didn't know what to replace my meals with, so I was just eating less, and that affected me big time. Obviously, I was always hungry, I was grouchy, I was losing weight, I didn't feel good. So of course I didn't feel like this vegan diet was working for me. So that's another thing that we always recommend. Aaron always says, replace before you remove. And it's so true. It's like, you've got to find replacements or you're just gonna remove all the foods that you're used to and end up hungry. You've got to eat, 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 because a lot of these foods are high volume, low calorie. So it's cool if you like to eat, this is a perfect lifestyle for you, but you gotta make sure you're getting your calories. Right, and for me, on the same token, I felt like I got sucked into a lot of these fads and trends that I was seeing on right. YouTube and on Instagram where people were doing water fasts and they were doing 90-day juice cleanses. Right. And I became obsessed with this notion that my body was diseased and that I needed to constantly be detoxifying and cleansing, when in reality, our bodies are designed to detox on a daily so a lot of our organs like our livers and our kidneys are designed to do just that detox right. and if you're eating whole foods plant-based you should be doing that at a very steady rate every single day without having to deprive yourself of essential calories and nutrients that quite frankly we need to thrive totally the fourth pitfall is not giving it enough time right there are so many meal plans and challenges out there and most of them are honestly 30 days maybe 40 days max yeah. and if you're feeling good and it's working rather than bouncing back maybe try continuing i feel like a lot of people take these challenges as like a one and done and then they're like <laughs> okay i cleansed i feel better now i'm going to go back to how i was before totally or you know even beyond that if someone does plan to make it stick maybe they just 
aren't giving it enough time to really truly heal because it can take months and months as opposed to taking a capsule or a pill or a potion to heal you or fix your problems. A lot of times those are just a band-aid solution when the underlying issue is still existing. So healing from a natural standpoint takes a lot of time and patience. You guys should go watch our individual stories if you haven't already, but mine is just like that. We went plant-based for 40 days, felt great, and then I bounced back and started eating junk food again. <laughs> then I once committed to a whole food plant-based diet. I was on multiple medications for indigestion, acid reflux, etc. I was on a plant-based diet for over a year before I was actually able to come off of those meds. A lot of people are messaging me saying, oh, I've been vegan for two weeks or two months even, and my indigestion is out of control. When I eat beans, I get gassy, all of these things. It's like and your body will surprisingly heal itself, but it takes time to reverse a lot of that damage. And if I would have given up, I would probably still be on those meds with the standard American diet foods, but I'm glad that I stuck it out. Like I said, a year, maybe more sometimes mm -hmm. for these issues to clear themselves up. And as Aaron mentioned, sometimes we have underlying health issues that need to be addressed as well. And finally, pitfall number five is not planning or preparing. Right. So this isn't just for a plant-based diet. I have seen people who go above and beyond to prepare. Right. Talk about my own brother who is a bodybuilding beef eater who <laughs> portions out his meals. You guys right. know what I'm talking about. The meal prep with these guys is insane. It's <laughs> admirable for sure. Totally. But it's not just a plant-based diet that needs to be well planned, but it is definitely important if you want to succeed. So beyond proper planning becomes proper execution. So follow up. We actually have a perfect tool for you guys. That is the Eat Move Rest Meal Planner, where we have all of our favorite recipes laid out for you with cooking instructions you can put your favorite meals in this meal planner on specific days and it even generates your weekly grocery list for you. That's something you guys can definitely check out if you haven't already, we'll link that below. Beyond that, find a community, find people that can help hold you accountable or a group to say, hey, let's do a vegan meetup or let's do meatless Mondays or let's meet at the grocery store or meet to cook and make sure that you're getting help executing this well-planned vegan diet. And from a mom standpoint in particular, when we go on an, a family outing, say to the beach for the day, I am always jamming and cramming as many healthy treats and snacks as I can in the right. cooler for the day. If we're going on a road trip, I plan accordingly for that as well. Or for a mom's night out, if I get invited to a new restaurant I've never been to before, the first thing I do is hop online and look at the <laughs> menu to figure out what I can enjoy. Totally. Another thing that isn't as fun, but we've done plenty of times, things like pre-eat. So if you're a social person, if you go out to eat for work or other occasions, you might have to learn how to eat beforehand if they aren't gonna have perfect options for you. You also get really good at ordering off the menu. In fact, we actually have a video about how to be a social vegan when it comes to, yes, going out eating at family, like holidays and stuff. Holidays are coming up. Totally. The number one thing I always say is share the wealth, share yeah. the love. So bring a meal to any potluck you get invited to or any family gathering. Bring an amazing dish that everybody already knows and loves, like our yep. lasagna that we make. Oh, That's so good. so, so good. You wouldn't even know the difference, but it's healthy and it's right. nourishing and people still can enjoy it, even with flying. We yeah. just booked a flight and Delta, I hopped online and they now offer several different forms of vegetarian and vegan diet meals. It's incredible. So, But it does take a little legwork. It does take some homework. And like we said, it definitely takes planning and it definitely takes execution. On the execution side of things, remember not always discipline, but sometimes self-love. Remind yourself why you're doing this. I love myself so much. I'm going to do this. So you have to learn how to do things like shop for groceries and learn to cook. That's the biggest thing. Right. And for us, again, Aaron took a raw food course. Like we both love to cook and spend so much time cooking. And once you get good at it, it becomes like your favorite thing. You know, it's like second nature. You don't really have to like coach yourself through it or convince yourself to do it. Right. You begin to enjoy it because you're reaping the benefits. You're feeling the rewards. Totally. And on that note, I think that is bonus tip number six. And right. I would say 
Food is fuel, yes, but yeah. food should also be enjoyed. So right. don't punish yourself. No. Don't make foods that you don't enjoy. Just start with what you love and find recipes that you've always enjoyed totally. and veganize them. It's kind of 50-50. Food is fuel, but food should also be enjoyment. Right, and that's what our channel is about. That's why we started this channel because we wanted to help people get healthy, but we also want to help people enjoy life, like mm -hmm. live to the max. So we combine healthy recipes with delicious food and it's like the best of both worlds mm -hmm. and yes now we're raising a healthy family we're making our dreams come true and I know it sounds crazy but food is the portal to everything food is the the portal to your health your happiness and being successful in so many areas of your life so mm -hmm. give it some thought give it some prep some planning all the things and you're sure to succeed at the end of the day reach out to us we've built a community here come on our retreats we do retreats in costa rica every year hopefully doing one in italy very soon yes, super reach out connect with us and we will be sure to help you avoid and overcome some of these pitfalls. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more empowered on your health and healing journey. Right. If you are, give this video a thumbs up, hit thumbs. that subscribe button, join us here. Make sure that bell is clicked to turn on notifications. Yep. Leave us some comments below. Let us know what your pitfall is right. and how you're gonna remedy it. Follow us on Instagram. And share this video. Yes. We basically need your guys' help to break the internet because right. the algorithms are against this kind of information. Totally. It's like natural healing. All of these things are being blocked and quieted. So help us by sharing this video. <laughs> we'll help everyone become their best, healthiest version of themselves. Eat, move, rest your best. Bye, guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.